Hey, and uh, welcome to your first day of distance learning. Hopefully you attended class live, but in case you didn't or you missed something, this video is here to help you out and guide you. So step one, as always, show up your live classes Monday and Wednesdays. Tuesday and Thursdays, we are available um, most likely during your class time. So just jump into a Google Meet. And if you're not, if we're not there, you just see our little icon like our camera's off. Just make some noise and then we'll notice you're there and kind of jump on and help you out with whatever you need. Moving forward with today, we have directions under here, which is where you found the video. Um, below this is also the slides if you are tired of hearing my voice already. Uh, first things first though, as we go up into the warm up. When you hear Africa, what comes to mind? And when you see Africa on TV or in movies, how is it shown? So once you are done answering that question, you can move on to today's assignment. So today's assignment, some things to go over first. We're opening it with Cami. If you get confused at any point during this assignment, uh, either rewatch this video, ask your teacher, myself or Ms. Massa during work time, teacher availability time, or through a Schoology message. So let's say you're catching up on this in a few days and you can't really ask about it in live class. Send us a little message and we'll set up a time or you can jump into one of our Google Meets and we will help you with that. Um, there's the directions as always. And then honestly, ask a friend. Um, as long as you guys are both meeting the learning targets and your work is your work and their work is their work, we're happy that you're working with somebody. We're happy that you're communicating. And in all honesty, that is a good skill to learn in school. So I encourage you to work with some others if you can. But anyway, we're opening up the assignment with Cami, And we're dealing with that. Thank you. And you have a reminder of your learning targets, which today is you can identify and label countries in Africa, and you can identify and label significant physical geography and human geography of Africa. So the first part, what you're doing is you are labeling countries within Africa, and you are labeling these ones. The reason for that is we are going to touch at least a little bit on all of these countries before we are done. So it's a really good idea for you to know where they're at. So that's why we're using Kami as well, because as you know, with Kami, we can use different text boxes and different drawing techniques. So let's say you're trying to identify a country. You just drag a little text box. Man, you guys are probably better at this than I am at this point. But let's say you were trying to label Egypt. You can either put it in Egypt. Killing it. This is going great. Not awkward at all. I can spell sometimes. You can label it in Egypt, or if it's countries really small, feel free to kind of go above and then maybe like draw a little arrow. Maybe like, uh, my artistic students hold it down, make this look pretty for the rest of us to survive and make sure that you label all of the countries up here. And then as always, add a compass, title, date, and author. Whatever date you're turning it in, that is the date we're looking for. The author is you, so that should be easy. So if I were doing this, I might throw a little of that. Ooh. Try to do my little signature, which looks garbage with a mouse, but it is what it is. All right, moving on. Once you are done with all of that, remember for your compass to never eat soggy waffles, northeast, south, west, never eat soggy waffles. All right, moving down to the next part of the assignment. It's a little bit more complex, but it's still quite easy for you to do. So after looking at the physical map, remember that a physical map is a map that shows the physical characteristics of the earth. Think of nature, landforms, things like that. So don't think of humans and cities. Think more of like rivers, mountains, deserts. And as you'll see from today, Africa has a very diverse and um, very epic nature. So first thing you're going to do is trace the Nile River and the Congo River in blue. So you go back over to here. You pick out a color. You get some colors there. That, ooh, that's a nice blue right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you might want to make it a little larger, a little smaller. It doesn't really matter to me. And you are looking for those rivers. And then you're going to trace over them. So I don't want to give this one away. I kind of want you to look through the map. Don't forget to look at your map key to find what you need. The next step is to outline the Sahara Desert and the Kalahari Desert in red. So pretty much do the exact same thing you did with the rivers. Just change up your color and trace over a larger area. And outline all the rainforests in green. Last, before you're done, locate and circle both Mount Kilimanjaro and Lake Victoria. It should be 
you know, doable to find it in here. But if you can't, there's no shame in going on to Google and looking up where those are and comparing the Google Earth or the Google um, Maps images to your map here to find out what you need to find out because at the end of the day, you're still going to be able to locate that mountain. So no shame in going to Google. And then last, before you are done with the day, go to the natural... Oh, man, i got to edit this. Why? Nothing to see there, no mistakes, totally fine. Didn't need to edit anything. Anyway, major religions in Africa, so you have a religion map that shows you what the um, most popular or the most practiced religion is in that area. You have Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and native religions. Native religions would be smaller religions that are from the area um, and have been practiced for a very long time. So you observe this map, you gather what you can, uh, maybe if you or your family is from one of the countries or you're a little curious, take a little extra time, find out what is most predominantly practiced there. And then you go up and write, so what are the two largest religions in Africa? List a country that has a large following of a native religion. And then before you are done, pick one of the countries you had to label earlier in part one and explain what their majority religions are. So then right here you type in the country name and their majority religion. Before you are done, make sure that you submit or turn in through Cameos. You guys have been doing pretty great with this, but it's got your little turn in thing up there. Maybe it's a little different for you, but you guys, once again, have been doing great with that. So just make sure you submit it.